Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mitch. Vim is my favorite text editor. So today I'm going to show you how to install it and to configure it. So today I'm running a virtual machine of Linux Mint Ubuntu. And I'm going to show you how to install Vim and configure it. Now, in some distributions, probably most, Nano is installed as the default terminal text editor. And, and some have Vim installed. But I'm going to show you how to install it and how to configure it. So you can go to the software repository, the GUI software repository, and install Vim in Linux Mint or in any distribution that you happen to be using, regardless of whether it be Debian-based or Arch-based or Ubuntu-based. I'm going to go into the terminal. So I'm going to open up a terminal. And I already have Vim installed, so I'm not going to actually install it, but I'm going to show you how to, what to do here. So if you're running Linux Mint or any Debian-based distribution or Ubuntu-based distribution, you're going to do sudo apt install Vim. Hit enter and install it. Or like I said, you can go into the su like I said, you can go into the software repository and install it. Then if you're running Arch or an Arch-based system, you're going to do sudo Pacman S Vim. Hit enter and install it. So once that is done, the thing is about Vim is by default, there's two things about it I don't like. Number one, let's make a new text. So we're going to make a new text. I'm going to call it Vim Test for Video TXT. Okay, let's hit enter. So we have all these squiggly lines here. I don't like those. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of those by default. And let's close this now. And the other thing I'm going to show you is let's open up my ZeshRC file. So I'm going to do Vim ZeshRC. So on my last video, I showed you how to install Zesh how to make it your default shell, and how to put my configuration file into it. So now let's Vim into it. And as you can see, there's no numbers here. And I like to have numbers. So I'm going to show you how to install the numbers by default. So let's close this. Now, the thing is, I suggest that you use my configuration file. You don't have to. You can type this in, but I haven't memorized these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to install my Mensch folder. So if you haven't installed my Mensch folder, you want to install it from Git. If you don't have Git in your system, you're going to do sudo apt install git. If you're an Arch-based system, you're going to do sudo pack man install oops, sudo pacman s git and you're going to install git then you're going to type in git clone https colon slash slash git lab dot com artibus one Mench.git. And you're going to hit enter and you're going to install my Mench folder from my GitLab repository. Now, this line here, I have a copy of this line underneath all my videos in the information section of each video. So if you're not able to memorize it or, or write it down or cop get it from the video, you can go to the information part of my video and you can copy it. So you're going to install my Mitch folder. Now if you've already installed it, you would have it right here, Mitch. And if you haven't installed if you have installed it, I would suggest that you update it because sometimes I make changes to it. So to update it, you just do CD Mitch or you could do this one. Git pull. And it's going to tell you already up to date 
or it's going to pull down any configuration files that I've changed or that I've added. So let's just clear the screen. So now that you're in the mesh directory, you're going to LL. And what you're going to do is you're going to copy this vimrc file in Linux Mint. Your vimrc file is in a different spot than it is in Arch Linux. So in Arch Linux, let's just CD into Etsy. So we're in Etsy. So in Arch Linux, the vim file is right here. But in Linux Mint, there's a vim directory within Etsy, and then the vim file is in there. So you have to be aware of where the file is, you know, whether you're using a Linux Mint or some other distribution or you're using Arch Linux. So we're going to CD into my vim folder. And this is the file we want, vimrc. So like I said, in Arch Linux, this vimrc file is right in your Etsy directory. It's not in a folder called vim within the Etsy directory. And what you could do too is before you copy it, you might want to just save this. Let's just save this file. To do mb vimrc to vimrc save. There you go. And let's ls it. So now I, I just saved it. I changed what I really did was I changed the name of it. Just in case something goes wrong, we have the original file here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sudo copy squiggly line home mench vimrc. And I'm going to leave a space. I'm going to put a period here. Let's see if it copied it. So it copied it. And just to show you the lines that are in it that I'm using, let's just uh, vim into it. Vim, vim rc. So I added line 19, 20, and 21. So let's, let's close that. Let's just close the terminal and reopen it. So now when I open it and let's make a new file. So let's say, uh, let's call the file vim. Let's vim into a new file, new test text. So now I created a new file and see all those squiggly lines are gone from here. Isn't that beautiful? So let's get out of here. So now I'm going to clear the screen. I'm going to vim into my Zesh RC file. Vim Zesh RC. And now we have numbers. So let's go to the top. So you can see we have numbers. Let's go to the bottom. So this file has 377 numbers. Isn't that beautiful? Let's close that. Whoops. Let's close that. Isn't that wonderful? How beautiful it is. In this video, I showed you how to install Vim and how to configure it. You don't have those squiggly lines when you open up a new file and so that you have numbers in by default. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I am the Lennox Mitch.